not physically, I don't think he could have come. He was in the hospital. He just got out of intensive care. He's still in the hospital. And so we're going to go to him and do as much as we can on Tuesday. Broadcast that back to uh, the meeting room downstairs of this building so that the people who are interested can hear what's being said. Okay, and just what are your thoughts so far on just the case as a whole and kind of where it stands with all the investors? Well, uh, you know, we've got we've done a lot of work on trying to find assets. We've uh, uh, done a lot of work on trying to figure out who's owed. Um, we've been limited in what work we've been able to do to figure out what happened to the money. Uh, that's a much longer process, a much more difficult process, and so, you know, at this point, uh, that's that's still out on the horizon. And explain for us the um, Mike, Michael um, Costello. Yep, yeah, and what happened with that situation there? Well, uh, Mr. Brown had a tax practice. He, you know, he had a Brown's tax service where they did repair taxes for people. That's an asset that can be sold. People buy and sell. CPA practices or accounting practices. Uh, that type of specialized practice is not something that I have experience in selling myself. And so uh, I hired someone who I know to be uh, uh, qualified to be able to assist me to find buyers and buy that asset so we can generate money, hopefully one day to be some to be paid back to these uh, folks who have their money taken from them. And how much money